Hello, Anne. Hello, Roman. Um, I would like to uh, discuss several questions. Uh, they are ecological, political, and as well, homeopathical. Uh, homeopathic questions uh, we uh, face now, these days. Um, Many homeopaths are talking about nuclear uh, era, about actinoids. And uh, we heard a few days ago about danger of uh, nuclear war. Mm -hmm. um, uh, many people exposed to this or another kind of radiation. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, it will be very interesting to discuss all this issue, radiation and homeopathy. I'm sure you have an experience in it, uh, so let us start. Yeah, uh, luckily uh, we there was no radiation. I mean, there was no danger. Luckily, we don't know in the future. But I was very uh, relieved when I heard this is no danger. But uh, the radioactive remedies—it's a very interesting uh, group of remedies. I prescribed it. But in situation where, where uh, patients were very deeply hurt in their life, fathers who, who were beating their children up and when they grow older, they develop a power in themselves. They developed something what is destructive. And this destructive energy has nothing to do with nuclear power. It has to do with an inner with the outer nuclear power it has to do with the inner nuclear power they expressed it that they just uh, throw things through the air that they are very angry and very aggressive but this aggressive aggression is hidden in themselves so it's something what is hidden and, and on, it only can come out during interviews when you just follow the patient deep down into their heart this is how I understood, understood um, radioactive remedies, you know, because this energy should be released from the inner state of a human being. And for those cases, for those patients, I prescribed radioactive remedies. It has nothing to do with the situation just now. It can, it can have a past from, mm, from, days of complete peace yeah, and freedom, but still in families, there is war yeah, between fathers and children, etc., etc. Yeah, I mean, this war is in us. We homeopaths, we don't can't prescribe for the outer world. We can only prescribe for the inner world. The patient is, is feeling it going uh, going through you know the inner process yeah yeah but but uh, and i assume that uh, uh, now nowadays uh, and uh, in close future uh, we will face more and more radioactive cases because what's going on on the planet because of this tension we have uh, on the planet because of this uh, energies uh, that uh, are looking for uh, being open, but they are hiding. Uh, it, could be, it could be. I don't know about the future because the future belongs to the uh, to the future, right? To the th our thought process processes. But the sensation of a patient is in the heart. Yeah, it's a difference between the thought process and the heart. Yeah, so we don't know what the people take into their heart. When I nowadays see all this. Uh, refugees suffering. I mean, uh, we have to translate when they come to us because I tr begin already to treat uh, people. Uh, when they come to us, we have to treat their inner feeling, how they experienced what happened to to them, and we don't know what will come up. Yeah. So, according to your experience, what are other characteristics of uh, radioactive uh, of course we have repertory repertory we have materia medica and we have our yeah. clinical cases yeah. 
but yeah. uh, in general, can you summarize? Uh, it it depends to the stage, you know. I go with the stages. It's like, like if you're in the eighth stage, you know, a, a clot of aggression. This is plutonium because it's under ferrum, yeah, under ferrum. So and under ferrum there is plutonium. The the energy, the pressure is very high. For example, uh, something like this. I go on the stages in order in order to prescribe the remedy the radioactive remedies and the the more the pressure the the more the the more i go onto the stage onto the eighth stage in the um, uh, periodic system yeah can you recollect uh, some cases yeah 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 as i said already one one patient with i mean you know in the beginning of the radiums, radium bromatum, and there, there, there is a difference because they are sh shy in a way, but everything what is there is hidden in them. Yeah? Even the shyness, even the, the kind of anger is a hidden anger. And it can't explode, but it will explode at, at, the, at the final end. Yeah? So, I mean, this is very, it's the differentiation between the, the, uh, uh, radioactive remedy uh, on, and all the other remedies. At the beginning of the corona uh, situation, we discussed whether this, the whole remedies have to do with the situation of, of uh, the new pandemic. But it didn't turn out in my uh, practice that we need a lot of remedies due to the situation of corona. I didn't need all these remedies. I mean, I better went into uh, the ma the mushrooms, the fungi groups, because this I saw much deeper. And the fungi and the radioactive remedies, they go together. They have something in similar, but it's underneath, it's hidden, it can't come out, but it's more softer in a way. But it will poison the world. Uh, unfortunately, and many uh, colleagues are stressing these uh, similarities between radioactive and mushroom uh, mm -hmm. remedies. Uh, can you explore a little bit uh, more about this similarity and what you see? Uh, I will talk about, about uh, mushroom remedies at the WISH conference in May, at the beginning of May. Yeah, I will talk a little bit more about the mushroom remedies. Even there, there is the, the danger. I mean, the difference between the radioactive remedies, there is anger hidden. In the, in the uh, mushroom remedies is more uh, anxiety, fear, panic hidden in them, as far as I experience in my clinic. You know, the, the, the anxiety of something would come into us, you know, is going to affect us. It's going to give diseases to us. It's going to hurt us. This is a difference to the radioactive remedies because their anger is, is something what happened to them and the reaction is anger, but this anger is hidden. Actually, you suggested the uh... Uh, you you were one of the first women, but uh, I talk uh, to uh, and uh, suggested a mushroom remedy for COVID as well. Uh, yeah, 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 right. That is how I, how I began with this because I discussed with my with my students groups group. I discussed it. Mm -hmm. I said, shall we take a radioactive remedy as a representative for this? Pandemic. It was in in March. No, in March, April, uh, uh, twenty twenty. I mean, just at the beginning. In order, you know, for me, it's not that the remedy itself is now important for patients. I want to uh, understand the life situation with a remedy, even. So at that moment, we began to discuss are this is this a radioactive situation in life or or question mark and then we ended up with a mushroom remedy i will talk about it yeah uh, 
So uh, all together with radioactive and fungus remedies, mm -hmm. do you see other groups that are coming close to this uh, uh, era? Yeah, and this is what I said already, uh, the heart remedies, because the heart remedies are important too, because the heart was in fact affected. Yeah, the, the deep processes of the heart. Yeah, this is what I see. And all the, the heart remedies came up. And what for me, what was a remedy, what was I was very often prescribed was causticum. I did a huge presentation on causticum because causticum is uh, is an um, alchemistic remedy, Hahnemann. Uh, I'm, I studied how Hahnemann prepared causticum on such an alchemistic way. And the alchemistic part of our life is a very important pass because we are all alchemists we homeopaths are alchemists we go the process of understanding something on a very deeper level on the energetic level yeah this is alchemy and that's why for me causticum was is a remedy i prescribed so often more often than all other remedies you mean for uh, this uh, new disease yeah for yeah for okay. because for for the for people who are in in um, in, in uh, who, who are in, resist in understanding it and resist in I want don't want to do this I I'm going the the government is going to fight against us etc you know people with a lot of resistance and a lot of anger and a lot of uh, I mean aggression this is but there's a difference to the aggression or the f anger in the radioactive. Costume is more softer because it's a Kali remedy. They want to, to be always right, you know? It, this is what we see in the, in the whole pandemic, that everybody wants to be right. I am right. Uh, this means Kali, yeah? And <laughs> causticum is a process of, uh, of, of fighting for my rights. Yeah? Because this went, Kali, the, the understanding of Kali is so, so wonderful i mean i i mean i often talked to hanuman and told him you know this was such a beautiful remedy how can you come to those kind of processes to understand causticum to give us causticum yeah so can you talk a little bit more about the, please remind us about this process of preparing causticum and uh, your understanding of it the, the understanding, I mean, you know, it's for me difficult to, to explain the present, the, the preparation of causticum in English, yeah? But it's, it, it, it can be read in uh, Hahnemann's, uh, yeah, you know, uh, but the, the causticum itself has something what is, uh, um, what opens kalium, kalium, kali up, yeah? So if you are right, right and wrong, you know, with Kali, you know, Kali always wants to be right and right. And Causticum opens this up, you know, it says, okay, you know, it's not that I have this in myself, I am right, the others are wrong, but Kali wants to fight for it. And this is what I understand with Causticum and all the other problems, you know, with, because we know we have this, this voice problems, can't speak, you know, what is, what does it mean? To can't speak, you know, get hoarse, yeah, mm, hoarse. because of, yeah, all the uh, hoarseness after cough. This is a very huge cough remedy, and a very a very good remedy for soreness in the throat. Yeah, that the throat is sore. I mean, this is you know the acrid energy, the yeah the acrid energy of causticum, because the 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 acrid energy is every everywhere. I mean, we have, could differentiate between the, the uh, actinids, uh, the, the mushrooms, and the acrid, the acids, because it's a kind of acid, yeah? Like arsenicum, like uh, all the other acid, uh, acids, yeah? Mm -hmm. So causticum is part of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is very interesting uh, to see this uh, era and period uh, uh, through the uh, 
eyes of homeopaths. Uh, and uh, you see that this is the era of radioactive, but we shouldn't forget causticum and regular remedies. Yeah, sure. Not everyone should receive uh, actinoids now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, you know, we only prescribe for what is going on in patients. You know, we could, you know, it, like for, in, for instance, nowadays, people call me, they have peer, fear, they have panic, they are panicking. They think, but then often I tell them, please open your eyes, please open your eyes. We I can see there is war in, in, in the Ukraine and it's terrible, sure. But open your eyes and look what you can do in your life. I mean, most people with fear and panic, they don't open their eyes and see what can I do in my life to help that. Yeah, because we are not, we in Germany, we don't have any war yet. We see the war and this, and the, this, touches people very deeply. A lot of people cry. They can need even pulsatilla. They can need even, for example, people, people with this panic, I prescribed stramonium, yeah? Stramonium, belladonna, all the acute remedies. There is something very acute uh, going on in the world. More than Azenicum album. Azenicum album is important too, but Azen has something to do with themselves. They, they only think of themselves. It's my my uh, thoughts are heard, but in my country, nobody or um, nobody is really affected. You know, they feel the others, and this feeling of the others is something what is very important. We have to translate this too. Mm -hmm. This is what I, I mean, we have only 10 days, 12 days of, of war, you know, not too many cases have come so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I hope it will uh, stop immediately. This is our prey, uh, because we homeopaths have uh, a lot of work even without, uh, without uh, this, yeah? So. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't need this. This is for sure. Yeah, and what what I said before, you know, that with with in a radioactive situation, if this would happen, we don't need radioactive remedies, because this is not the treatment. The treatment uh, treatment you know, homeopathy, homeopathy means we have to understand what. What is the trigger in a patient? What, no, what comes out with the trigger, not the trigger. We don't translate the trigger. We, tr we, we translate only what comes out of patients when this trigger will be a, a, a nuclear uh, a situation or a difficult situation. Yeah, the, the only thing to have uh, in our mind uh, to remember that uh, when the trigger is uh, really very powerful, then we uh, can use this uh, energy of this trigger. Uh, I mean, it's it's only it's always the same paragraph thirty one of the organon, and, now, <laughs> and everyone is only uh, reacting with his own vital force, and only you can see it here. You know, in everyone looks at uh, the screen or, or the letter television and see something. Everyone reacts difficult, uh, different because because everyone's vital force is different. And I, we, we have, Hanuman says this very uh, clearly. So, and we can't say in this situation uh, in, uh, that we need radioactive remedy. I don't believe this. Uh, as I said before, I only believe if there is a strong aggression hidden in them. Then it will fit uh, properly. Uh, Anna from uh, from the view, you saw many things at this planet. You've yeah. witnessed uh, quite a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, as a homeopath, what you can wish uh, to our viewers, to our listeners, to our colleagues, to our close ones? 
I mean, I had a wonderful time with homeopathy. I would never, I will never ever want anybody to miss this. But this experience with homeopaths is like you learn day by day. I mean, this is the most beautiful part of homeopathy, yet you learn day by day. In that moment, you thought you have understood something, something new will come up, and this keeps you young. So I can only tell all my students, go on and learn and learn and study something new, because this will keep you young. And each conversation with you, I study a lot of new things. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.